Today we've got Callaway drivers. We've got the Epic Speed from 2021. We've got the Maverick from 2020. Thomas is gonna hit shots with both models and we're gonna see how they compare on TrackMan. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. We are outside today on the driving range. Uh, we've got two Callaway driver models today to test out the Epic Speed, new in 2021, and the Maverick, uh, which is from 2020. So Thomas, I know you've played Callaway drivers in the past. Um, you've been fitting customers into both of these um, for a while now, so you're very familiar with both. Um, what's your kind of impression on Callaway's driver line this year? Because they maybe mixed up things a little bit with their driver line this year compared to the past. Yeah, I mean, the, the speed is still kind of a, a low spinning model this year. You also, they also have the Epic Max LS, which mm -hmm. was, we're trying to figure out where the speed and the Max LS yeah. kind of fit in. Typically, it would be that the Maverick Sub-Zero would yeah. then maybe fit along lines with the lower spinning model, but yeah. we've got the speed and we have the Maverick Max LS this year that are both very low spinning drivers. Yeah. So visually wise, these look very similar. So let's kind of compare the two of them. We both have the weight in the back Mm -hmm. So kind of pointed towards the, the back of the club there. Very kind of similar rounded look between the two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, your opportunities are endless visually compared to all the different models that you know Callaway op offers essentially. This would be a good test to see how the generation has changed between the Maverick and the Epic Speed. Yeah, I know they've mixed up a little bit and of course they've changed uh, jailbreak as well a little bit from the Maverick line to now kind of the Epic line in 2021. So two driver heads have been both very popular. Um, shaft we're gonna uh, test with today and then kind of what's the format of the test gonna be yeah so my driver shaft uh, my driver shaft of Callaway cog already on there the Tor 80 graphite design XE 6x the length is 45 and a quarter inches we're also gonna be hitting with the Titleist Pro B1x golf ball uh, outside on, on the range today it's probably 45 degrees out it's not yeah. super warm so it won't be probably too fast with yeah. regards to the club speed but I'll try to keep my club speed pretty similar between the two of them uh, and we'll kind of just compare them and see how they perform. We'll hit four shots initially with each one, and we'll come back and hit four more. That way we can try and keep this a little unbiased. So we'll hit eight total shots with each club. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing some bombs, Thomas. You ready? Let's do it. Oh yeah. Well, that was a better one. That's a bomb right there. All right. Thomas, Callaway Maverick, four quick swing, swings there. Um, I mean, I know you mentioned the sound is different than the Epic Max LS that you play. Um, describe, how, you know, in what way is it different? It seems quieter. Quieter? Definitely seems quieter, um, more muted sound to the, the sound that I'm used to, that I've been playing for the last few months. Uh, I also mentioned visually too, my driver seems like it's kind of flitting, sits just a little bit flatter versus okay. this one just seems a little, maybe a little larger footprint pushed back towards the, the back of the back of the club. Um, this seems like it's just a little more forgiving club head. Okay, yeah. interesting. I mean, numbers are good. One five smash, yeah. just over 2100 spin, you know, carried at 284 and total 308 in this in these conditions. It's pretty solid numbers, so. Yeah, I hit it well. I definitely hit it well. Mm -hmm. I was surprised just to see that spin rate still stay fairly low, even with the head being a little bit Larger than what I'm used to looking down. Yeah, at. it's yeah. kind of a, it's it's a head designed to produce more spin than maybe you're you're used to, I guess. But yep. still, still performed solidly, kept the spin down. So now we can go to the epic speed here. Okay, let's switch this over. I feel like I hit that one very well. I can definitely hear the louder noise yeah. now after just one swing. That's that's interesting on that. I feel like I didn't quite hit that one that you, well. You didn't. Look you at didn't. that. I mean, rate. the smash factor is 147, which isn't your 150 on the other ones, but yeah. it's still, you know, all over, well over 300 yards. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, you can definitely kind of notice the sound. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely louder. I think I tended to hit a little more of a fade with this. Yeah, where definitely. the uh, the Maverick was maybe I was fighting that left ball a little bit more with it. Sure. it felt like. I mean, 
first of all, your dispersion, by the way. So we're four shots in with each club. Dispersion with the epic speed is brilliant. You have two kind of right on top of each other, each other just left of the center line, and then two kind of right on top of each other just right of it. So okay. um, really good dispersion with the epic speed, but noticing that the spin went up with the epic speed, which is interesting because I think, you know, in fittings and kind of the, um, I think the way that, you know, it's being played, like PGA Tour players are playing it a lot more than maybe the Maverick, the standard Maverick model. So it seems to be a lower spinning club generally but in this in this test in this case with you hitting it a little bit more speed here today yeah i feel like the first couple of swings too i don't feel like it caught right in the middle of the face but i think it's, it's noticed like one four six one four seven with regards to the yeah. the efficiency the smash factor number and the last one was one four seven so i wasn't even maybe hitting it as True. as that solid it. but it was still you know a couple hundred rpms more spin because yeah. i wasn't hitting it maybe in the, in the sweet spot as much yeah, I mean, I guess you didn't even hit 150 with the epic speed, and no. you did a couple times with the Maverick, so that could be part of the, the difference that we're seeing. But I mean, otherwise, ball speed, both 163. Club speed's very similar, 109.5 with the Maverick, 110.4 with the epic speed. Carry distance is both 284, yep. um, but the total distance with the Maverick is a, four yards further just because of the lower spin. Lower spin, So yep. Interesting there, but now yep. we can get uh, four more shots with each one and kind of solidify the data a little bit. Sounds good. See if I can find the middle of the club face with the epic speed. Well, I will say that's eight swings that were very, very straight, even though I didn't mm -hmm. catch it in the sweet spot. I feel like they were all pretty straight. They were all very straight. This dispersion is actually kind of ridiculous uh, to, to look at because uh, at the same time, while it's very straight, the distance consistency on the carry is also very, I mean, it's, it's actually remarkable uh, to see that. So I mean, we're eight swings in now at epic speed and in total now your club speed's gonna average about 110. Ball speed 163, average of 148 smash. I know you were trying to get 150 and you didn't quite get one, but I mean, the numbers are still great. I mean, 2300 spin, 285 carry, 306 total. And the dispersion map, as people can see on the left side of the screen here, is it's remarkable. Yeah, I felt I felt like even though I didn't catch it in the middle of the club face, all I cared about is any more fairways. Yeah. I think that was probably eight out of eight fairways with this driver. Oh, it, absolutely. Those yeah. are eight. I mean, they're very much in the fairway, and you're hitting a pure shot into the green from there. So that's, uh, that's you know, it speaks to the club. I mean, we kind of lauded this one as maybe not as forgiving, maybe a little bit lower spinning than the Maverick, but in this test, very forgiving. Uh, a couple of shots with maybe lower spin, but overall it was it's a good performer. Yeah, I had a couple there with spin rate 17 and a couple with spin rate 2700. That's me. That's, that's <laughs> me hitting it a little low on the face and kind of a little over the all over the middle of the face. I don't even think I got a one four nine. I think one four eight was kind of my, what I was kind of averaging mm -hmm. for all those eight yeah. shots there. Which, yeah. I mean, I'm getting picky. Well, yeah. A one four eight smash factor is still extremely it, very. Yes. It's still very good. Just noticed that when I hit the first four shots with the Maverick, I was at one five every single time. Yeah. Nothing's changed. I mean, the exact same golf shaft, same length. Right. Let's hit four more with the Maverick yeah. and see how it. It's going to be interesting now if you get 1-5-0 a bunch of times here with the Maverick. <laughs> pretty straight ball right there. That one felt pretty good. I mean, both drivers are going straight today. That's the good yeah. news. I mean, you got kind of one with the Maverick that's a little left, um, but otherwise <laughs> you got basically what 15 out of 16 that are in the fairway at the very least you might have 16 out of 16. I so, need to go make myself a tee time right now. <laughs> I just mean you're <laughs> you're pure in the tee shots right now Thomas. Um, now numbers quickly with the Maverick with the epic speed again this is eight shots with um, both drivers and numbers are very very comparable here. I think we just saw a little bit more efficiency with the Maverick and that's just kind of you and your swing for whatever reason you were you were hitting the center of the face so it's a little bit better with the Maverick but uh, spin both just over 2300 we're actually separated by a grand total of three rpm after eight shots each so it's pretty consistent. <laughs> that's crazy. 23 yep. 28 with the Maverick 23 31 with the epic speed so that's actually pretty interesting wow. three rpm higher spin yep. with the epic speed Carry distance, 285.6 for the Epic Speed, 286.3 for the Maverick. So again, very comparable. Total distance, Maverick just two yards further based on, uh, well, just 
a little bit more efficient strike, I guess, overall. But these drivers are very comparable. I think the big difference for me that I'm looking at right now visually is just that dispersion. I mean, the, the epic speed dispersion for as maybe you didn't love the way you hit the ball, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, those balls are all right up. I mean, you could pick them up in 20 seconds walking out there in a straight line, you'd get them all. So yeah. that's a pretty remarkable performance from epic speed. Yeah, I think it comes down to, I mean, drivers these days is as so forgiving, even if you don't quite catch it. You get so tied up on that on that ball speed number, on that efficiency number, or that one five. Mm. You got to you got to get that every single time. Even with a one four eight average versus a one four nine or one five average with the uh, with the Maverick, you can kind of notice straight is good. Yeah. And you notice the spin rate consistency is still very good. Yeah. So the fact that the spin rate was the exact same, even though the efficiency wasn't quite as good. That's me. That's that's on me. I'm I'm not a robot. There's no one really out there is a robot unless we do robot testing. I'm about as good as it gets, I, I would say, with regards <laughs> to kind of testing. But I'm not gonna hit in the little club face every single time. We we notice that, but we got away with the misses. Yeah, is what it was showing, and right. it was straight, which mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Right, and I think that speaks to you know a couple things. So one, epic speed, then. 2021 driver here that we tested today. Forgiveness on that is is pretty remarkable. Again, that that dispersion circle that you can see, I mean, that's I, I can't. There's nothing I can. I'm speechless, as you can tell. Like I can't. It, it, you, you'll see this circle, I think, eventually here, and it's pretty nuts. But um, also, the Maverick, a uh, previous generation model here, is keeping up really well with epic speed in terms of the the ball speed, the distance, etc. Um, and I guess today in particular, you were striking it just a little bit better, which resulted in some of these numbers. But um, I mean, Callaway, and you are well aware of this, they make great drivers, great products. Saw that today with the performance here, and chilly temperatures, we got some wind out here, and you were still striping at 306 to 308 yards on average, so that's pretty pretty solid stuff. Hey, you gotta keep in mind, second swing, we do sell used clubs as well. We don't just custom, custom fit new stuff. We have a lot of Maverick drivers out there. We have a lot of the, even going back to the Epic Flash, uh, models and going back to the Rogue, there's a lot of different Callaway models out there that have performed really well over the test of time that you can get for maybe a little discounted price because they are pre-owned or they're still in actually pretty good shape. This one here, this head was straight from the store and it's only been hit a couple of times and yeah. it's sold for you know above average, which is I would consider this basically brand new with <laughs> yeah. the head cover with the wrapper taken off. So there's a lot of good quality used clubs out there that are going to perform almost just as well as the new models. And let's face it, one year, one generation to one generation, you're probably not going to see that huge change or anything like that. We've, we've reached the limit on ball speed. Yeah. We can't really get more ball speed. It's that level of forgiveness is what we're, what, yeah. what, you know, what we're seeing with low drivers. Exactly. Yep. That one, that year, year to year jump is not going to be massive. You're going to see improvements on forgiveness and kind of performance on mishits. Um, but you know, over a, you know, maybe maybe your driver is five to ten years old, then you can maybe really see a difference in the upgrades. Uh, but like Thomas said, giant selection of used drivers here at Second Swing, especially the Maverick series. Um, all kinds of Mavericks, Maverick Sub Zero, Maverick Max, available at SecondSwing.com or in any of our five store locations, where you can get yours, get it custom fit as well. And we'll get you set up hitting more bombs, more straight drives down the center of the fairway here in 2021 and beyond. So, Thomas, you hit at least 15 fairways today, maybe 16 fairways on these shots. So really good job on the test today. Great stuff. Thank you.